This Flutter tutorial shows how to build video conference into your app with Zego Cloud. To embed video conference feature, we are going to integrate and customize Zego Cloud pre-built UI kit SDK into your app. Then users start voice, video, or text chat through Zego Cloud real-time network. It's that simple. Now, we are in a Flutter environment. The first step is to create a new app project. Call it the video conference demo. Okay, the app project has been created. Let's see how to integrate the SDK. Firstly, add Zego UI Kit pre-built video conference as dependencies. Run the following code in your project's root directory. We are going to an important step, which is using the Zego UI Kit pre-built video conference in your project. Now, we start adding the page by these codes. Then import the pre-built video conference kit SDK. Firstly, you need to enter your app ID and app sign, and I will show you how to find it in Zego Cloud Admin Console. Here is the page of the console after you sign in. Create your own project. And then click the edit button. Okay. You can directly copy your app ID and app sign here. Now back to IDE. In our test program, you need to enter conference ID, which is for users that join the conference with the same ID can talk to each other. You can customize the rules of conference ID as you like, according to your business logic. You also can use random strings as user ID and username. If you have your own user account system, you can use them. Okay, here we are. We have modified the homepage code, now the conference page can be used. For the second main step, we are going to help you configure your project for Android and iOS. Let's see how Android works. Firstly, continuously open the file src main android manifest and add the following code, just like this. Secondly, to prevent obfuscation of the SDK public class names, you should do the following. In Android app folder creating a file named proguardrules.pro and then add the following content as shown. Thirdly open your file on the Android app build.gradle and enter 33. Then continue to add the following config code to the release part. That is the part for Android. And we keep going on adding iOS permissions. Open the iOS runner.info plist and add the following code to the dict part. Okay. Now you have finished all the steps. Let's see how it works. You can run and test your app on your device. Video conference can now be used in your app. And that is all for integrating conference kit and building conference features in Flutter. Let's get started. 